Bill Houston vowed when he came out of the army in 1946 that no one was going to order him about for the next 20 years. That's now 25 years ago, and he still enjoys roaming the world the way he has done since childhood on his bike. I started cycling at 11 years of age when my brother gave me his bike, and up till just now, near enough, I can go back to diaries and one or two charts that I've managed to salvage, and I'm near enough touching 400,000 miles. Since that young start, Bill Houston has dedicated his life to cycling. He's topped his aim of 20 years of independence by five years, and still every summer he takes a holiday on the road for at least three months. So far, his bike has taken him to 34 countries, from Lapland to the Sahara. I used to see places that were mapped in the map where tourists just hadn't been. Sardinia, Morocco, Iceland, Turkey, and when Yugoslavia opened its frontier for the first, I went there. And that started me going to places that nobody had been. And we got into countries that were behind the Iron Curtain and met some good people, nice people. And then if I wanted solitude, up to Iceland, where on one trip I never spoke to anybody for 17 days. So when I started talking to my bike, I thought it was time I was coming out into civilization. I still do camping when I go abroad, but in this country, you had somewhere to go in the winter time, and you must get a roof over your head. And as you know, the Melbourne Air has his weekend cottages. Well, for a small sum of money, I joined the youth hostels. We have 90 here in Scotland, which I can call my weekend cottage. So I think I'm better off than a millionaire because I don't think a millionaire has 90 weekend cottages. Bill Houston was born here in Ochinlek 47 years ago. It's an overgrown mining village planted in the middle of the dairy farms of central Ayrshire. The main street is still the casual meeting place it always was, but nowadays it's artificially noisy and active with the rumble of traffic. But it's not Ochenlech's traffic. It's simply the main road from Glasgow to Dumfries, cutting the village in half. All that most people see is the little changing pattern of shops and pubs on the main street. But behind this facade, Ochinlech has been altered. The rows of miners' cottages have gone, and in their place is a sprawling housing estate. But the chief occupation is still down the pits which is where Bill Houston went when he left school at the age of 14. His chance to escape came when the co-op advertised two jobs, apprentice baker and grocer's clerk. Sixty other boys, too, wanted to avoid a life down the mines, and they all sat a written examination. But Bill got the baker's job, and the hours left him free to explore the hills of Galloway on his bike. Before he began his foreign travels, he thought he should know his own country thoroughly. So he spent three summers exploring every corner of Britain and Ireland. Most people look at a hill and they say, well, there's something over that. And I'd like to do it, I'd like to get to the top of it. And they look at their map, there's no road. So nowadays, most people run about and fear some things called motor cars. I detest the things, but you kind of put one of these over your shoulder and go up the top of a hill, but I can do it with my bike. And when I do that, I can see what's on the other side. I can ride it away from the other side, because normally you get a road on the other side. And that's me, I have, have, have done something. 
and there I am on the other side and away I go and look for something else. Despite his dislike of motor vehicles, Bill's present job is driving one. But nine months of sitting in his bulldozer will subsidize three months pedaling his bike. I'm sitting in the machine driving it, but it, it has a living, and uh, although you know, people would say uh, it's a, a wrong thing to say, uh, I'm a hypocrite or something, but I don't think so. It's only a way of earning your bobbies at the end of a week. And I'm sitting here and I'm pushing stuff in front of me. I'm not doing anybody any harm. And I can look out the window. It goes slow. It doesn't make a noise, but it goes slow. And I can see where I lie for around about myself. And there's nobody pushing me doing this. I've got a certain task to do and I do it. And if I see something, if it's a bird or even a wee flower at the side of the, the, the rubbish, I'll go out and have a look at it just to say that I have did, did something and I might even save the flower and put it somewhere else. Bill belongs to a band of cyclists known as the Rough Stuff Fellowship. They dislike main roads and prefer to travel cross-country. The tougher the country, the better. The bike will get them there. Or they'll get the bike there. I remember the trip in Iceland, which was about eight or nine years ago, and it was started as an expedition with five of us, all from different parts of the country. But we, we sent our supplies in the year before, in the September, because the roads would be closed, it took the, the supplies in, and we were going further in between two ice caps. And when we put the stuff out, it lay all winter under the snow. And when we went in, there's no bridges over the rivers. And being the biggest mug there, I think, they used to say, oh, wait and see what size the river is. And the rivers were coming off the glaciers and if the river took me to here they just shouted ah it's too high for us come back out again so we did eventually find a small place it might only take me <laughs> just under the the, the the last bit and there we were take my bags across first and then come back across and lift my bikes over my head so they didn't get wet but it didn't make little it made little difference actually because the grip from the road still got into your cogs and well we had tyres that only lasted about 500 miles and normally you can get 5,000 to 7,000 out of them. You come away, minus pumps, broken mud geards, skint knees, skint elbows, everything because we're going to cross a lava bed and where the the lava dust had settled, you might fall and the bike went one way, you went another and you skidded along the lava and it in a way some skin. <laughs> 